just nice words. Yeah. Ah, disgusting. Love it. Love it. Bad, disgusting, lover. <laughs> lover being in love with himself, just fuck up fucking himself all the time. The master beta. The master of Bation. Master Bation. Probation. Probation. It's fun. It's, it's, if you. I have to make tabula rasa, otherwise. <laughs> what? It leaves you with some whatever you can rest and then. I thought you were giving us a take home. What? I thought you were giving us a take home today, carry home. Good yes, Christmas goodie. Eat in or eat, or eat at home or what? <laughs> <laughs> what comes out will be shit anyway. <laughs> if you eat in or you eat out, it will become shit. <laughs> take home. I take away. Take, take, take away. away. Take away today. Take away today and <laughs> <laughs> I, give, I give you a pass tomorrow. Take away. Enlightenment guarantee. Yeah. yeah. What Rolano in, 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 in Puna, that why it's Puna, your last satsang, thousand dollar. Yeah, because you have no money left afterwards. <laughs> 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 a German, German lady in Pune, mm -hmm. is, she is not allowed to go into the ashram mm -hmm. because she gives satsang and the last, always the last. Mm -hmm. Call this three weeks last satsang, your last satsang. <laughs> For that you can spend thousand dollars. So that saves your money. <laughs> If you give it me, you save the money ever after. Like enlightenment guarantee. The point is oneness university. Diksha. And they found out it's all bang in the chai. That makes him feel a bit easier. Hmm. How do you know everything? Huh? People tell me everything. <laughs> They know I like rumors. <laughs> Because I, 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 need, I need space and rumors make space. They call rumors. Otherwise you're narrow minded if you know I don't want it. I only want the truth. No rumors. <laughs> truth only. I'm narrow pointed, one pointed to the truth. No rumors. No hearsay. Direct truth. Me, more. But I like rumors. <laughs> There's space in it, there's fun in it. But the fucking truth is so fucking narrow-minded, boring. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> huh? Or not? <laughs> you have to concentrate on God alone. God is here. <laughs> yes. Pushing. Cushion. Cushion. God is cushion. Pamper me. Pamper me. Cushion. Pillow. It's the lowest pill you can get, a pillow. Because it pampers you just by being there. It will be a pillow to yourself. Do what? Huh? I have one more takeaway. One more? I can give you more, more takeaways. Can you swallow them? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Because then you she wants to put it in that pocket and then eating at home where no one sees her. <laughs> no. Oh, no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. No, then put it in the, somewhere in the, in the box somewhere. And then no one finds it. it. And you never see it, look at it again because, no, no, I take it home. I work at home. Good. Yeah, what's your... Can you make anything out of what I say? <laughs> 
Let book be surprising. <laughs> Surprise me. It was not intended that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you say? Is anything you... Is spiritual way is very difficult, I think. <laughs> 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 Spiritual. What? You have become spiritual now. Me? <laughs> Say spiritual way is very difficult. The waves. Spiritual, mm. spiritual way. way is very what difficult. Way? What spiritual way? He said that. That is what he says. <laughs> you yeah, but why, why do you repeat it? <laughs> <laughs> I understood it first time. <laughs> Sorry. I asked. <laughs> they all repeat. So what's, what, what's, what's the spiritual way? <laughs> I don't know. I cannot understand. <laughs> so I said it is very difficult. Yeah, but you are in the biggest cult ever. <laughs> in the difficult. You cultivate the difficult. You are in the cultivation of the difficult. You cultivated the difficult to the extreme. Because you make everything so difficult that you can stay in the cultivation of the cult who is difficult. <laughs> what? This is very serious. This is the core of my whatever I have not. <laughs> my core message. Core message. Core message. Core message. Core message. Corn message. Like corn, like corn. many, many corns on a big cylinder. <laughs> That's my corn message. No corn. The but that you are here for. Hmm? To unload all your fish. I'm not taking anyone home. Take a shower. I'm not, I'm not wanting to more fi fish into your basket. Spiritual fishes, where you can go to your friends and sell them to them. That's why I ask, can you, can you take any fish home here? She tries all the time. No, take away. Nice. What? Mm. Yeah, but I, I presented it and then it was like a magic act. Chuk! <laughs> Gone. <laughs> But that is, you believe for a moment and you know that you cannot not believe it. You want to believe it. You want to. Yes, I, I want that there is some misunderstanding. There is this understanding. I want it. Yes, I want to believe. Your whole heart, your whole longing goes for that. Yes. And then it's presented and then you step into that trap. Yeah, now, oh yes, now it feels so good. Ah, oh, I can rest. At, at last I can rest in that understanding. And then comes a sad guru again. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad. No, I'm happy. <laughs> to make the balloon explode. The devil. No, the devil would sell you the fish and that you keep the fish and sell it to other ones. That is a guru normally who sells you the light fish. Lucifer selling light fish. Hmm. But here is Hell's Kitchen. Here is the grandma works. The grandma doesn't take any shit for granted. It's because it's grandma. She, know, she knows her <coughs> beloved grandchild. So, what did I say? <laughs> you said, what did I say? <laughs> did I say that? Just Are you sure? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your understanding now? <laughs> I'm <laughs> getting lighter and lighter and lighter and got job. 
Yeah, because it's the unbearable lightness of existence. You try to bear it, but now you see it's unbearable because there's nothing to bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the most dangerous for the bearer. The one who needs to bear something. I have to carry my, my cross and all of that bullshit. But taking the cross away, that is crucifixion. I crucify you that you are, there's nothing what is yours and nothing can, what can be killed. And that is the crucifixion of Jesus, because he could not be killed by it. So it's why it's called crucifixion, not crucifixion. So ownership and doership same. Do what? Ownership and doership are same. Relative. Yeah, doership and ownership is shit. Both are only relation. Both are in nature, because it needs one who owns his doing. Because you are doer. It's all ownership own. actually. All is depending on ownership. Mine, this mine. My doing, my not doing, whatever. That ownership is But all. Because, do, because you are a doer, you own. No, because you are the owner, it's your doing. Okay. If, you're, if there would be doership but no ownership, there would be no doer. No, it needs ownership, mine. My being, my life, my whatever. And then there is my doing, my not doing, my whatever. And everyone, like even when Ramesh from non-doership, they make it, no, I'm a non-doer. So everyone took it personal. What can you do? Now I understand, I'm not a doer. Before I was a doer, now I'm not a doer. Bravo! Landing on a nice place. They're not responsible for my doing. You have to listen what, what you what you tell yourself. I am not responsible for my doing. Especially me. So it was gotten good men, but it's all what? Mission impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I would even say missionary impossible. <laughs> Mission may be, but missionary is impossible. Yeah. Especially the missionary position. <laughs> It's impossible. I think no one got ever pregnant in that. What are you laughing? Mission impossible. Without commission. What, you, you, your father met your, your, your mother in a bar? <laughs> yeah, a bar, 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 bar. It's a nice bar. And then, where did they first met? In a bar and then going out. Okay. Child of a bar in woman. <laughs> Sounds good, huh? Can you understand that? I am a child of a barren woman. <laughs> Is it resonating somewhere? <clears throat> everyone repeats it, huh? And everyone claims I understood something. Of <laughs> course, I am a child of a barren woman. What does it mean? A woman who could never give birth And I'm a child of that woman who never gave birth to anyone. Oh, big story. <laughs> Sounds like Jesus. <laughs> Now Mary was penetrated by the Spirit and then Jesus came out. Holy hmm? Ghost. Oh. What the fuck, huh? Mom. All these famous stories, huh? At the end, they're all just... Or is there any end at all? Maybe there is no end at the end. <laughs> so what to do? Again. Take the foundation off. The story will come. Yeah, but I'm taking the foundation off by not taking it off. Actually, I take all the racks by not taking them. You think I'm working for you? But do they exist, actually? What? Do they exist, right? I do what? Do the racks exist? 
the right thing? No. Rugs. Rugs. The rugs? No, it just takes the whole universe away. <laughs> <laughs> why, why going for peanuts? <laughs> why not destroying the whole universe at once? Huh? Yeah. Little rugs, rugs, rugs. rugs. No. Once and for all, you think that can happen? Me. So by <laughs> by by Hopefully. by no way out, by that the universe cannot be killed, the universe is gone. Mm. Hmm? Can you kill something what is not there? What would you say? Hmm? So yet you can understand. But even that is a misunderstanding. It's amazing, huh? It sounds very profound sometimes and very, wow, well, yes, that must be the case, this is true, and it's the same bullshit as everything. It's fantastic. But it sounds good. That even Eckhart Tolle is a foundation, so, uh, the name of the foundation sounds good foundation. Sounds good Yeah. <laughs> I just remembered. I just remembered, yes. Sounds good foundation. And there's a big event next year in September and it's already sold out for $2,000 for a weekend for the good, good sound foundation. And if you booked yesterday, it was $500 less. But today is $500 more. Sounds good. That's why it's, why it's called Sounds Good Foundation. <laughs> like power of now sounds good. Master key. Master? Master key. It's a master of existence. Master, you know master. What you put on sausage. Ah. Master. <laughs> the master on the sausage of being. Mastermind. It's amazing, huh? But Hitler didn't succeed, but Eckhart Tolle does. <laughs> Eckhart Tolle conquered the world. <coughs> Hitler tried very hard. He was... But Eckhart Tolle was German, now he made it. Hitler got a bad name also. Hitler's a good name. <coughs> it's a hit. <laughs> Come on. It's a big hit. It's a hit song. And then Adolf. Like Alpha. Adolf. Adolfo. But since then no one calls Adolf anymore in Germany. They're all I would call I would I would if I would. If I could. <laughs> The Aryas, huh? All coming from India. The Black Sun. Hmm? All the spiritual things coming from India. All the fascistic things and all the all the esoteric whatever. Tool of society all comes from India. The spastika. The two symbols, the one who turns out and the other one turns in, huh? the cross, the black sun and the white sun, the symbol of Tantra. Hmm? You must know more than I about it. Hmm. What I never read about huh? Just read about it. I don't know about it. You don't know <coughs> the, the, the dark sun? I know, I know it's in dark matter. No, it's not dark matter, it's a dark sun, black sun. The sun who doesn't know any sun. <laughs> and have no sun. If, it, if the light, it's like two, 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 two experiences of light. One experience of light is when light, the particles come to you, then you experience light. And when the same particle go away from you, you experience darkness. But it's the same particles, the same light. Imagine. Two different experiences. 
just two directions, the inner direction and the outer direction. So the sun is experienced and not experienced, as light or no light. So even the experience of no light is light. Fantastic, huh? Again, something profound, what you could take home. <laughs> so you cannot say anymore, I, I don't give anything. I give takeaways. But can you put it in your pocket? That's the question. Can you keep it? So. Take away the takeaways. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Take the take away. <laughs> take away, and what are you? Take away to drop. <laughs> no, I had so many, whatever, insights. I can fluster the whole universe with it. Pavement of insights, paving the way to wherever you want to go, but fantastic, and they're all for nothing. All the mm. stepping stones of wisdom, tra la la. Mm. Sometimes a haunted one. You're haunted by all that understanding. Always comes back like a boomerang. You, you don't know it at all, but then you draw it away and then boom, it comes back. Fuck. The whole existence is like a boomerang. You understand that you don't need anything to be what you are, and by that you drop everything, and that what you drop is like a boomerang <laughs> who comes back. Boom! Every morning. Australians should know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all a boomerang. And you throw it again. This time, really, with all what I have, I put everything in that, whatever I have, and, <laughs> and then you're very happy. You turn even around, you want to walk away, and then, BOOM! <laughs> hits you on your back. <laughs> wow, fuck. Then you're really angry about yourself, huh? because you really did your best, your very best, to get rid of everything. You became nothing. And by becoming nothing, everything hits you, back from all sides. Bam, bam! Ooh, who, get, who thinks he is nothing? We will teach him how much nothing he is. <laughs> this is famous, these two mullahs in the mocks and, Allah, Allah, I'm nothing, Allah, I'm nothing. Then comes the caretaker, oh, and goes to the next, Allah, I'm nothing, Allah, and then that one, oh, look, who thinks he's nothing. <laughs> Very famous, though. Mm -hmm. Why do I say it? Everyone knows it before. Why didn't you say it? Why did you make me step into that trap? <laughs> <laughs> What is this Satori and Samadhi? How can we define it? Satori? That's easy. What? You know what is Satori or not? You must have an idea about it. Yeah, I have an experience, but I don't know what is this. Ah, you had to, you experienced it, but you don't know what it was. What it was? Okay, that sounds profound. That's quite okay. Stay there. Oh no. So when does when does the satori happen? No, last time I tell you that three days I'm not thinking. There is no thinking. But that's not a When I want to think, that time I only think that three days. Yeah, but that's not that's, that's not Saturday. Oh, that's no. Saturday is for whatever time stretch you are like space, you are you are bodiless, formless. You are disconnect from the body totally. You don't know where you are anymore. You are stretched out to the universe. You are not limited to this body. That is like uh, 
perception disconnects as a center from this body is centerless. That is satori. Like sitting for days and weeks in front of a wall and making this body totally uncomfortable and totally unbearable and then in one second the perception disconnects from the body and then enters the space. Being space like spirit. That's a satori. Not not thinking, that's a whatever it is. That is called satori. The satori you can have often, the whole day, but you don't remember. Because most of the time you are like space. You have no center, centerless. That's a satori. And then you close in again with the center, me, by disturbance. So every day there is a personal and an impersonal switch, shifting. So you have many satories, but when you really be aware about it, then it happens, then you call it satori, because then you had one. Then you make it part of your story, because otherwise it's not your story. In that sense, that's called satori. So it's very natural. Perception disconnects from the body, I think 80-90% a day is not in the body. And the rest 10%, there's an owner of this body like a doer or doing something. And being disturbed. So it's very natural. And then comes, what was the other one? Samadhi. Samadhi. Ah. Yeah, samadhi is then when you become aware this is always shifting. It's like you shift between the ping pong, between identified and non-identified. Identified, non-identified. Form, no form. Form, no form. Form, blah, blah, blah. Then you see it will always be there. It will always be a shift and you become aware. Stay in that awareness that both is always changing. And you cannot stay in one of them, because sometimes it's there, sometimes not. It's like an experience of helplessness, of awareness. You become aware, you cannot decide where to be, because your favorite would be unidentified. But you cannot stay there, because the moment you want to be staying there, you're already back into being identified. It's always ping-pong. So you become aware, this is not in your hand. Then you rest in that awareness. That's already called, yeah, part of samadhi. People call that samadhi, but that's not samadhi. Samadhi would be that what is prior to that, prior to light, the thought state. To be in spite of all presence or absence, that's called samadhi. Absolutely not knowing what you are and what you're not, that in that samadhi, presence. No one can be in there. Satori you can have, you can experience. And then you can become aware whatever you experience you cannot be. So you become an experiencer who is in spite of what he is experiencing. But it's still fake. Still? Fake. It's like a witness. But the witness is still false. And from there, that's the, that's the end of your way. This is what you can reach. You cannot go further. And when that what you are is dropping even the witness, then there's samadhi. Every night you are in that samadhi. <laughs> it's nothing special. That is deep, deep sleep. That's samadhi. Very natural. And every morning you wake up, you wake up again as one who is a witness, an observer, or something what is observed. It's all observed. But the most favorite place is witness. Your preference, being a witness. Because there's a kind of peace, huh? Undisturbed. Because there's an experience of being disturbed and undisturbed. But even the undisturbed is not in your hand. You become more like a witness of that, whatever, projections. That's the end of what you can do, or become. But is that good enough? Yeah? No, then go for it. <laughs> there are many masters for that. There are Zen masters for Saturi, and there are awareness masters everywhere. I think 99% or more of. As Maharaj would say, there is only a, not even a handful who went beyond? That is 11.3. To what? 
Third state. The what? Third state. Third. Yeah. Third night, third state. Stage. The what? <laughs> thirsty steak? Third steak, no? You are thirsty for a steak? What? He, he said third steak. Third. D-H-I-R-D, third. Yeah, the third. <laughs> third steak. <laughs> One, you start here. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it all. I'm fucked up. I'm fed up. And then it's unbearable, and by being unbearable, you come here, and then you are an I amness master, oneness master. I don't know where I am and where I'm not. I am unlimited. I am like space. I am spirit. And then you become a teacher of that oneness. I'm one with everything. Duck, duck, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. And when you see, you always switch between, when you're honest, you see. One moment you are that, and the next moment that. Fuck it all, and like KO and OK. KO, OK, KO, OK, KO, OK, OK, pop, pop, pop. But naturally you are that absolute fucker. <laughs> no, and then you see it, become aware as a witness, the witnessing, which like, then you are even OK when it's not OK. That's called okey-dokey state. OK, dokey, dokey, dokey. Does that correspond to Sattva? That's why, if, when one is making, how, when someone asks, "How are you?" <laughs> someone says, "When you ask, how are you?" Fuck you. <laughs> and then another one, and you ask, "How are you?" I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's all, okay, okay, okay. So what comes? That's the end. Whatever, whatever what was reaching, whatever, you cannot go further. No one ever went further as that. <coughs> huh, Mahindra? Mm -hmm. My confirmer. It is good enough for you? <laughs> no, I ask you. If that is good enough for you, there are many teachers and you can do it, you can... No one tells me, it's already ten past nine. You are really bad here. <coughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was I saying? Are you satisfied with that? Yeah. Then you're easy. It's come suddenly. There is no any way. It comes in spite of what you are doing. Even that satire comes in spite of you wanting it. No, I have not tried for it anything. But it yeah, but, comes suddenly. Yeah, but you think by not trying it comes earlier. <laughs> so you still do something for it. Now I am thinking to what? go that way or it will happen again to me. Good luck. I wish you all the best of British luck. In Satura I am not thinking anything. In night also. It's not about thinking. What are you talking about? Satura is not that you don't think. You shift your identification with, from the body to the space, that's all. From the form to the non-form. But it's not about one who is not thinking. What are you talking about? What do you claim as satori? There's mind and there's no mind. But it's not one who is not thinking. And, and, and watching every moment, am I thinking? No, I'm still not thinking, thanks God. <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you, Vipassana watchdog? Watching every non-thought you, you are thinking? Yeah, you take it personal, I know. You're watching every moment where you not think, and you're very proud about, I'm not thinking. And I am, I'm now in a satori. And I better be quiet. 
because you know thinking will happen again. There is an artificial stake, uh, stake. It cannot make you satisfied. All that artificial meat and steaks and things, they cannot make you satisfied. But it's nice, huh? Not thinking for a while, you can rest a bit, relax a bit, before you work again. It's like a little pause. Hmm? A little break in the uninterrupted mindfuck, that you get strong again, that the mindfuck can even get deeper. Because the not fucking is as good as fucking. Hmm? Because not thinking, it needs an idea who doesn't think. What a, what a nice idea. A thinker who is not thinking. Wow, he is now in Satori. Fantastic. <laughs> never thought, never not thought. I thought. Was it not thinking thought, even a bigger thought? What would you say? Because <laughs> you make it very precious. You give so much attention to that, become such a role model for your being, such a precious time where there is no time. So the no time becomes so precious time. Wow! Becomes like a concentration camp and you are like a watchman, watching the inmate. Is the inmate thinking or not? I watch the inmate thinking now. If he thinks again, I shoot him. <laughs> right away. this judging concentration camp you put yourself in, watching yourself, what am I doing now, what am I doing now, what, what, when was that, when, but, but, but last year I was two days not thinking. I remember it totally. The rest I forgot, but that two days where I was not there, I remember perfectly. <laughs> Fantastic. Huh? Isn't it great? That we went when I de went deep into meditation, into the, my fucking truth. I went so deep, I got lost. I could not find myself anymore. Bah! There was no one there. I could not find myself. I went so deep into meditation, into that, wow, I don't know what it was, but I was not there. I could not find myself. Especially me not. There's nobody. There's nothing. I saw it. I experienced there's nothing. Fantastic. And now I want to sell it to everyone. You are nothing. I see you. You are nothing. Because I could not find myself. I am nothing. You are nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> then nothing calls. The nothing teacher. This trap is so immense, I tell you. Even Robert Adams, a very whatever, celebrated thing, all the time talking about that bloody nothing. You are nothing, you are nothing, you are nothing. And nothing comes to nothing, and nothing is never more or less, and nothing is nothing, and as nothing you are, oh. your nature is nothing. You can only understand that, you can even, oh yes, I'm nothing, it feels so nice. It's like, oh wow, wow, I can rest in nothing. So something is bad and nothing is good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least something is something is something because something is bad. So I'm rather, I'm rather be bad before nothing is good. Nothing is something which is good. No, if even the big masters, so so-called realized masters, stepping into that trap, what are you think you are? Huh? It's amazing, huh? Wow! And they're celebrated, and they are everywhere, and all the Facebook things are full of all that blah, 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 and everyone repeats it. And everyone is, oh, Robert Adams said, I'm nothing. And then Ayashanti said it too. If they all say it, it must be true. They're so celebrated, and they're so well known. 
Okay, thank you for going.